what i'm i'm going to do now um i will i will create one uh, npn scenario and uh, we will run through same our complex inbound process then we will imp we will uh, appropriately use the okay where i can use for exception code uh, to change the destination and also where i can use my um, difference of the hu means within the hu i is i suppose it is 100 but i received only 80 so how i can adjust that quantity so that's some um, using two exceptions i'm going to use for inbound so please note down that <clears throat> we are not completely finishing the exception handling at the moment because this exception handlings are going to use you know for several places as we said inbound and uh, we may use for um, <clears throat> outbound and the internal process so when we are discussing about internal uh, then, then we will discuss how we are going to use exception code for physical inventory some of things and when we are discussing our outbound delivery then we'll see that whether we can use a pick denial cases some of things okay and now we are just focusing inbound but we're exposing at the early stage all these exception handlings okay uh, let me run through this cycle then we will have a questions on that okay I will jump into it. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. SAP now. Sir, your voice is low. Yes, sir. Let me check. Okay. Can I hear now? Yes. Is it loud now? Yes, sir. It's better. Yes. Can uh, I know a couple of people? Uh, they didn't join a couple of sessions, so don't worry. Then we will run through this session, all right? Even if you're new, okay, uh, we'll see that. So as I said, like we are, we are going to run end-to-end -end session, complex inbound process um, to to use this exception code, so appropriate time. You know, as I said, exception code. I'm going to use that the before confirmation can before confirming final confirmation of put away and other one is like um, after deconsolidation i wanted a change of quantity for that okay as usual we will we'll, um, create a purchase order me21n and uh, <clears throat> don't need to spend much time on this one to create a purchase order i have already previous order so trying to get it I'm keeping aside red zone at the moment, just focusing on the only the two products because that's where we can explain more things, okay? Whatever quantity you like, you're just trying to put something, okay? And there's a, from a price and there's a, which plant you are going to receive it and this one. Real time, you know, purchase going, purchasing going is going to manage this one. It's not our job. <laughs> Save it. And the yes, one's purchase other created. Then we'll create an inbound delivery by slash and VL31N. All know that. And then this one is we can say. Okay. And the POSC, LOSC. The combination we are using them, right? POSC and LOSC. And also exception codes I'm using now. <clears throat> you know that POSC we have we have used for the unloading, the consolidation, final put away, even VAS and final put away. But <clears throat> we have introduced the LOSC because the combination we want to learn it in a real time scenario. So as soon as the VAS completes, you know, we need to move it to the ID point location, do certain activities. Maybe I have to add another labeling or something. Then before final into final put away. But this is the scenario. Then exception codes, as I said, we are going to use the <clears throat> final confirmation and uh, okay. so we, we need to do PRD, right? PRD. Select it, select the two parts because we need to sing in one HU. Okay, in the 311 and uh, log into monitor. Before that, I will enter into PRDI. Okay. And get in, always, you know, use this ASN as a 
is a good practice for us. Okay, use the EISN is a um, as a source of uh, finding the deliveries. Okay, maybe it's a different warehouse number. So don't worry about that. Five seven one zero. So my warehouse five seven one zero. My business partner is also five seven one zero. Run through this one. <clears throat> you know already. So this is all like document category. You know that this warehouse number, supply chain in it, goods received is all there. <clears throat> These are the status and the item level. Okay. Already there. And the list triggered goods moment bin. We have seen a lot of people are facing this problem, goods moment bin, because if you're not properly configured goods moment bin, so you will face this issue. And we are also using pack specs for this material because <clears throat> to perform VAS activity, we need a packing material. So always make sure that whatever the products we have, you have maintained the pack specs here. So this is a number. For each product, we have a pack specs, okay? When this one also. For each one, we have see this is a different pack specs for this one. So is <clears throat> perfect and we have HU already. And one more thing is because whether we, we have, if I want to perform VAS, we need to check it. VAS orders are there, okay? If you click here, if you see a document flow, we have already VAS order here. And if you click here, I have another VAS order, okay? So I can open my VAS order directly here, display additional additional data, each one, or in instead header level, directly if you see this one, display additional data. Under the, this one, I can use display value added service. <clears throat> this is a one way we can uh, open uh, all the VAS orders. Other way around, you can always use slash and uh, PRD uh, instead of VAS, I can use it. This is another transaction. Again, it brings you same location also. Okay. So whichever transaction you wanted. I'm going back to see from here only. So value added service. So from the PRD, I'm going here. Just uh, because I need to modify, uh, you know that there's a bug in, in this system, you know. So work center, you know. For all VAS orders, if you're performing any VAS orders in the idea system, make sure that wherever you're using VAS, work center will be updated before performing any activities. Okay. Just select one, repeat the same thing for other one as well. And, okay. okay. Just save it and come back here. And this, this one, we have done it now. As I said, we are going to perform everything <clears throat> from the PRD, um, from the RF min, RF monitor, sorry, monitor. Again, <clears throat> inbound delivery. Again, use the ASN as a, a best practice one. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Just I'm clearing that. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> it should come with some design. <clears throat> so the layout, see all the put away, everything is not started. And the C item level, and the, we have a two products. But also you can always select the, we, we have layouts are there. So we have two products, quantity 20 and 30. And uh, see any warehouse tasks existing. So no warehouse tasks, no warehouse orders for this. And you see any handling in it. So we have only one handling in it. You can always double click and see that <clears throat> what contains inside. Yeah. So you take same thing, you can see quantity, everything. Okay. This one handling, two products we have, deco one, deco two. Okay, you can double click it opens that. Okay. And as you know, if you want to create a warehouse task directly, create a warehouse task in the background here itself. Okay. 
create a warehouse task because I'm creating warehouse task now for unloading task. So first is unloading from that to the door. So that's what I'm trying to do that. And we can confirm, quickly we can confirm the background. First, let me change the layout so that you can always see my step is IB01 is unloading and the storage process is at deco and source and the destination. Okay. Just confirm it because we are unloading from the door. Just confirm in the background. Okay, as soon as confirm it, then followed activities means immediate activity at the warehouse task is created to move this HU from a stage.